Hey, uh, so this is going to be a quick little tutorial for how to do the uh, the switch trick in the Goron Temple in Phantom Hourglass. This is currently done in the any percent route. Um, so basically, you're on uh, B2 of the Goron Temple, and there's a switch over here that you want to hit with the hammer. The problem is the hammer doesn't reach over there normally. So. Here's what you're gonna do. Now, you can see on my map, uh, or I guess you can see on my screen here, um, one interesting thing about Phantom Hourglass is where my stylus is placed is, is where Celia is flying around. So wherever you see Celia, that's basically where my stylus is. So use that as basically like an input uh, display to, to kind of see what I'm doing here. But I'll also try to describe it. Um, so what you wanna do is you wanna get up against this rock. And what I like to do is have my stylus right here at like the top left corner of of, of the item box. Um, and what you want to do is you just want to flick up and down to roll three times and then wait a little bit and then do it again. Um, and you'll see that uh, the textures on the wall repeat. But basically what you want to do is um, you want it to look something like this. Uh, that's my visual cue. And then what you want to do is, once you kind of get here, you want to do a roll and then hit the down button uh, on your D-pad to get the map to come down. Um, and if you hit it on the first frame you are able to, the screen will scroll a little further to the right. Uh, you don't need to hit down on the first frame possible, but it does make the trick a little bit easier. So, um, And then when you do that, you'll actually just walk right through the rock. And you'll see that here. If you just... Uh, pull out the map and then hold right you'll, you'll go right through it and that's kind of the whole point of this so uh, basically I like to do six rolls so one two three one two three and then I could have done it there but uh, yeah okay so once you're in this position what I like to do is hold my stylus right about here at this corner right and I'm gonna do a roll uh, in basically the direction that this line is. Uh, I'm going to hold the stylus here, and then as soon as I gain control, I'm kind of just going to flick, right? I'm just going to... I'm going to show you with the, with the drawing here. I'm going to hold the stylus here, and then as soon as I gain control, I'm just going to... like that. I'm going to move away from the screen and move back towards it. Um, so hit down to get rid of the map. Um, now, you don't want to actually roll right away. You want to walk for like a couple of frames. And the reason you want to do that is because you want Link to kind of push up against the edge um, for like a little bit during the roll. Now, if you roll too late, you'll jump off uh, and that's bad. Uh, but now what you can do, and this is kind of difficult, you can adjust. If you, if you don't really push up against the ledge too much, you can adjust this. And that's how you do that is, by letting go of the L button uh, or the R button if you're left-handed um, for like a frame or two uh, and then hit it again. Uh, and you'll kind of just nudge for it a little bit. And right now this will work because you can just barely see the edge of the switch uh, right there. Yeah, and now it'll definitely work. So I could hit it here, but I'm basically just gonna go over it again and maybe show you a better roll. So I'm gonna do one, one, two three one two three map okay so that was kind of a bad map pull but i can still get this to work okay see that was a better roll because the camera kind of scrolled a bit further to the right uh, and link kind of got stuck on the ledge for just a little bit longer so then once again pull hammer hold right and just tap untap yep and um you kind of got to get a feel for the timing on the uh like the hammer buffers, but once again, you can just barely see the switch over there, so you're good to go. Um, this is the kind of trick where there are just a lot of very small adjustments that you kind of need to account for when you're doing it. There, there's a lot of very small subtleties. Um, so definitely when you're working on it, just pay attention to the details. They're very important. Um, that's about it. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Uh, I'm sure I forgot to say something important in this, and I hope it wasn't too unstructured and long-winded, but really with some practice, th this trick is actually super consistent, and 
one of the easier uh, tricks in the run, I think. So uh, just just give it time, figure out the details, and uh, you'll be fine.